Yeah, I, I think that was big time for them. You know, them having you know twenty second chance points. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta make sure we're checking and hitting guys, making sure we finish possessions out. You know, they just had more possessions than us in that situation. Just got to do a better job of keeping them off the glass. Well, his leadership, uh, he's talking to these guys. He's constantly communicating with what, what the things that we're asking to do, talking to those young guys out on the floor. And he's just stepping in and playing with a high level of confidence, both defensively and offensively. You know, that's and that's what we're asking from him. And he's done such a great job with that as of late. Man, does a great job Well, we, we got a ton of open looks, I, you know, I believe I just our ability to get to the paint and then spray it out. I think that was one thing that I was most proud of. And uh, our, if we knock down a couple more shots here and there, you know, we give ourselves more of a chance. But we had some great looks. Uh, they knocked out a, a, a couple more shots down in that third quarter that, you know, spread the lead a little bit. But I think we did a really good job of competing all night and get, getting the open looks that we were looking for. George, question? I'll start with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Coach, potentially some of these uh, ten-day hardship exemptions could could be coming to an end. Just, just holistically, what have you been able to get out of the guys in a unique situation, and, and how they've answered the call? I'm so proud of these guys. You know, these guys came into the first run basically playing three games in four nights, um, having to understand that you know protocols and stepping in and just being ready to play their minutes. Uh, encouraging our guys in the locker room. And whenever they were ready to, to, to uh, when their number was called, they stepped right in ready to play. Go ahead, Dan. You know, further along those lines, you know, how, how helpful have your assistant coaches been during that stretch? I mean, you know, it takes, a, obviously they're within the system, some of those guys in Lakeland, but, you know, it takes a lot to, to get them caught up to full speed with, with everything you guys are trying to do. But well, we talk about that, you know, Coach Joe does a great job down with the Lakeland Magic and I just staying connected with, the, you know, with the high level of communication with what we're asking for these young men to do, the style of play that we want them to play with. Uh, but again, just our, my assistants do such a fantastic job of keeping these guys ready. As soon as they walk in, you know, it's between film sessions, it's on court activity, understanding the plays we want to run offensively and then defensively, how we want to guard and how we want to play. And they've stepped right in and, and, and you know, taken on the challenge. Anything else for Coach Mosley? All set, coach. Thank you. Yeah, it made a huge difference, man. We gave them a lot of second and third chance opportunities, and, you know, it hurt us in the long run. So we definitely got to make sure that we do a better job uh, team re rebounding. For sure. Uh, I think I've made a pretty good adjustment. Uh, I, I mean, I, I was in tr training camp in summer league with these guys, so I played with a lot of them, and I'm, I feel comfortable on the court with them. Uh, but as you said, I'm slowly, you know, feeling more and more comfortable as I continue to progress and just trying to do it what's asked of me. Most definitely. Uh, you know, when, you, when you're a point guard like myself and you're playing with guys that, that can't really, you know, play on ball, then it forces you to do a lot more of the decision making and, and work. But when I'm playing with somebody like Franz or, you know, Cole or anybody that's, you know, another point four point combo, anything, uh, it makes it a lot easier because I can shoot the ball very well and it and I can, you know, play off ball as well as on ball. Was there one thing in particular you feel like you really improved at the class certification? Uh. Maybe just my my reads on defense, uh, making sure I I'm, I'm in the right spot at the right time. Uh, uh, so, sometimes I, I I overhelp a little too much, uh, so just making that adjustment to to know when like pick and choose when and where. You know what I mean? So. George, questions on Zoom. Uh, let's go to Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Sonny, obviously, you know, you were with this team in summer league training camp, et cetera. But when, when you get that call to, to, to come up to the club, you know, what's going, what are all the steps that you take to, to get ready and prepared for, for this stretch of games? Uh, the steps to take to get ready. I mean, I, I was ready. I was ready at any given moment. Um, I knew coming into this year, you know, what could take place with, 
the COVID or injuries or anything. And I was just waiting on my moment. So uh, being ready for, you know, when my name's called, stepping up to the plate and handling business. How have the, the the coaching staff helped you? Obviously, you know, there's a, there's a lot of shifting pieces, not just yourself included, but but other guys coming in, other guys coming out. How, how has the coaching staff responded and helped you guys get ready for these games? Uh, they helped us by just keeping things a little bit more simplistic, uh, you know, not overcomplicating it for the guys uh, that are newer. Uh, I mean, people like myself, Aleem, BJ, Sko, you know, playing with Lakeland, you know, we're, we're pretty accustomed to the flow of the offense and everything like that. So uh, not so much for us, but, uh, you know, for the guys like Tim and Freddie, who, you know, were either on a different team or, you know, came from somewhere else who aren't really familiar, uh, they just done, done a good job of putting us in the right places to, to help us feel as comfortable as possible. What's what stood out to you in your time, whether it be through summer league training camp, you know, now, et cetera, about head coach Jamal Mosley, you know, and some of his main characteristics. Just just really his energy level. He brings it every single day. Uh, it's never a day where you got to pick him up. You know what I mean? He's always the, the guy picking others up uh, and he's always very level headed. And I like that, you know, through adversity, uh, you know, having a coach that can't keep his, you know, his head level headed. I mean, it, it diminishes the players as well. So uh, just appreciating what he brings to the table each and every day. And, uh, you know, I got his back on everything on anything. Any other questions for Hassani Gravit? Thank you, Hassani.